heard a story about some parents that were getting ready for Christmas and they had ordered some gifts and had a kit for a tree house. And when they opened up the box and getting ready to set it up, they realized that they got the materials and the plans for a sailboat. <laughs> so they wrote the company to complain with a, a week or so of Christmas left to go and the company replied, while we regret the inconvenience this mistake must have cost you, it's nothing compared to that of the man who's out on a lake somewhere trying to sail your treehouse. <laughs> Advent. It's about expectation, anticipation. And you may have been anticipating scripture that was about maybe shepherds and angels this morning. But instead, we, like many other churches, Hear what appears to be lessons about doom and gloom. Take a moment and think, and I invite you, if you would like to, open up to the Gospel of Luke, chapter 21, which Janitha said is at page 85 of the New Testament, and think about this as you do that. Whatever is going on in our own personal lives or in the world affects how we perceive what we see and hear. So in our world, we find ourselves in the midst of news. We hear about climate change, there are natural disasters, fires all over the West Coast, and it feels as if all order is falling apart. Never mind what we might be facing in our own personal lives. All of it. It builds anxiety and makes us fearful. And fear is an insidious thing. It drives us inward, it can harden our hearts, it darkens our vision, it stunts our imagination. And Jesus knew this well. He also saw in his world a growing, more dysfunction and difficult time. He knew that people were fearful, and he spoke of hope. Yes, that's the, if you look again at this gospel with eyes of expectation rather than fear, you'll see that Jesus is redirecting us. He's telling us to watch for signs. Leaves on the trees are indicators of life. He speaks of the coming of the Son of Man, that he will break through the clouds of doom with bright signs of power and glory. And at the heart of Jesus' words is verse 28. He says, now when these things begin to take place, stand up. Raise your heads, because your redemption is drawing near. Stand up, raise your head. It's the absolute opposite of cowering in fear. Jesus says we can have courage, because he comes to stand beside all of us in all things. Jesus is drawing on the examples of those who came before him, especially the prophets, and today, we also heard from Jeremiah. And Jeremiah was in prison because he dared to speak out that an enemy was going to come and destroy Jerusalem. But while he was in prison, Jeremiah remembered and leaned on the promises of God, finding hope in a hopeless situation. He knows, as only a prophet can, that should the city fall, God will help rebuild that God will send, as he said, a righteous branch to restore the people. His faith comes to us today, reminding us that there is never any situation beyond hope and change. So the way things are, are not the way they must always be. The last words of our gospel lesson are Jesus's. He says, heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. Seems a little mysterious. What are those words? Well, I would imagine it's all that he spoke and he taught, certainly. But during Advent, when we are assured, assured the time is coming, that the light is coming, it would be best, I think, to focus on the words that we remember when we come to the table. This is my body given for you. 
This is my blood poured out for you. Jesus' promise of his continued and his real presence with us. Nothing lasts forever except Jesus' words, we are told. The word will not pass away. So what does it feel like to know this solid truth when we do recognize all sorts of things changing or in need of change around us? Well, for starters, it means that hope really can matter. It feels like confidence in the midst of shifting sands. It makes life different because it changes our perspectives. So this Advent today, start looking for signs, finding signs of hope in the most unexpected places. And listen and take to heart those words of Jesus. Stand up, be courageous. Watch for the signs. The light is come. Light is coming.